seven birth chart patterns referred to as seven chart patterns in Sabian astrology, created, directed, and produced by Reverend Dr. Dickie Joe Mullen. In this video, Dr. Mullen will use Mark Edmund Jones's work. You'll notice a address at the bottom that you can access on the internet for each of the seven chart patterns that she will explain in detail. Do Dr. Dickie Joe Mullen will now proceed to explore how these patterns affect one's birth chart. This is astrologer Dickie Jo Mullen coming to you from Orlando, Florida with a way to take a quick glance at the horoscope and see what it's all about. And that's by looking at the patterns the planets form. In first looking at a birth chart, it can seem rather overwhelming. It's a wheel, a map of the sky at birth that shows the pattern of your whole life is the theory behind astrology and there's so many factors in it. We have degrees of the zodiac, houses, planets, the aspects between the planets. In order to not feel overwhelmed and in order to get a very significant bit of information, there are seven basic patterns formed by the chart. And just taking a look at them, even without being able to read the glyphs or the symbols, can give a whole very positive look at what the chart is all about. This concept was developed by a famous astrologer named Mark Edmund Jones in 1941. And it's been popular off and on ever since. In looking at the chart, if the planets form a bowl, that means all of them are in one half of the chart, or at least not more than over a 190 degree span, that forms a bowl. Now like every wheel, the astrological wheel has 360 degrees. In the case of a bowl, the person is self-absorbed, self-made, and explores everything through the self. Caroline Kennedy is an example of a famous person whose horoscope is a bowl pattern. The next pattern is the bucket. The bucket is when one planet is a singleton, all alone, at least 30 degrees from all the others, and then the other planets are clustered together to quite literally form a bucket effect. The bucket is all focused on the handle. So look at the planet that's by itself. And this can be an uncompromising and kind of a rigid person, but who functions well within a structure and through daily habit. Leontine Price is an example of a famous person who has a bucket chart. The bundle. The bundle is when all the planets are within about one-third or approximately 130 degrees of each other. This is someone who does well if they can be a specialist, if they become an expert, say, in one thing. Oh, like maybe music or maybe training guard dogs, whatever, sewing. And just do that. They can be dedicated to the purpose of achievement, can do very well. George W. Bush is an example of someone who is a bundle personality. Looking at the fourth pattern that we um, want to consider, there is the locomotive. That's when all the planets are within 240 degrees of each other. And the lead planet, looking at the chart, clockwise is the motivation. This pattern represents an energetic, executive, motivational type of person, a kind of a get up and go type, and often very innovative and on the leading edge of a trend. Art Garfunkel and Ed Sullivan, two famous personalities that were born with locomotive patterns. The next pattern is the seesaw. It's sometimes called the hour glass, though. And that's, that's when the planets are divided into two groups, like the top and bottom half of an hour glass, or both sides of a seesaw on a playground. 
And the seesaw is when the planets are at least 60 degrees apart and face each other off in opposition aspects. This shows that looking at opposing views, all alternatives, seeking balance and perspective is the, the, the overall focus. Agatha Christie is an example of a famous person whose horoscope forms an hourglass or a seesaw. Next we have the splash. This is um, when all the planets are distributed evenly all around. There aren't conjunctions. There are many interests. This is the Jack or Jill of all trades. There's a scattered, distracted type of quality to the personality. American President Teddy Roosevelt is an example of a splash chart personality. The final pattern is the splay, sometimes called the tripod. There must be a grand trine um, in the aspect pattern and no oppositions for it to be a splay. The splay and the splash can be a little bit hard to, um, to differentiate, but remember that there won't be um, any oppositions in the splay. That's planets right across. Um, this can represent not fitting into the status quo or pattern. This is a unique, odd one out, finding inner strength and their own path in life. Jackie Gleason and Babe Ruth, two famous personalities who had splay charts at birth. In some circles, there are four additional patterns. Um, another famous astrologer, Robert Jansky, added to the original seven to create 11 patterns in all. But in looking at that work, I really feel that the major seven, what's enough to learn anyway, really are kind of expounded upon in that later research. At any rate, in first approaching a chart, once you're beyond the beginner level of a Astrology, identifying which of the seven patterns is operating can be tremendously insightful and helpful. Dr. Mullen presents here the slide that overviews the seven patterns and the website that you can gain further information from.